Scrubbly Bubbly Story by Sharda Vishwanathan Illustrations by Raghu Ramachandran and edited by Kirti Jai Kumar for Tail Weavers It was a bright sunny day all the kids were out on the field Brian Mwangi Lydia and Wangechi were playing football. It was the last leg of the game. Brian had to score a goal for his team to win. Brian launches the ball. Wangechi excitedly runs around the ground, chasing the ball. Stop the ball! Lydia and Mwangi scream as Wangechi hops jumps and wrestles with the ball on the muddy ground. And we win! shrieks Lydia with joy as Wangechi stops the ball from reaching the net. Brian congratulates his friends and together they all head back in for lunch. Hungry and tired, Lydia runs straight to the table. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Splash, splash, splash the water in the cans, says Brian, looking at Lydia. Yes, children, Brian is right. Wash your hands before the germs can bite, said Wambugu as he walked in with glasses of orange juice. Germs? But I can't see any germs, said Lydia, eagerly looking at her hands. They are very tiny and hard to see, said Wambugu. Hmm... So we can't see the germs, but they are everywhere? asked Wangechi. And if we don't wash our hands, do they get into our food? questioned Mwangi. That's right, and they can get into your tummy and make you sick, explained Wambugu. So let me sing a song as we learn how to stay strong, clapped Wambugu. Eeny, meeny, mina, mo, this is how you tell the germs to go. Up in the air, down on the ground, you will find germs all around. They make you sick, they make you frown. You must learn this trick to kick them out of town. Splitter, splatter, open the tap and let it run, thin or fat. Scrub, scrub, scrub with a bubbly rain and watch the germs go down the drain. Before you eat, before you sleep, after you flush, before you brush. When you cough and when you sneeze, wash your hands and the germs will freeze. The children danced and ran to the tub to wash their hands with a soapy scrub and then happily enjoyed the yummy food.